good morning and welcome to story time i am miss megan i am your story time host and today our theme is superheroes so get ready for a super fun story time um we gotta do one thing before we do anything else and that is shake our series out so let's get that started one two three we gotta shake 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 her sailies out, shake, shake, shake her sailies out, shake, shake, shake her sailies out, wiggle or waggles away. We gotta clap, clap, clap our crazies out, clap, clap, clap our crazies out, clap, clap, clap our crazies out, wiggle or waggles away. We gotta jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, jump, jump. Jump our jiggles out, wiggle our waggles away. We gotta yawn, yawn, yawn our sleepies out, yawn, yawn, yawn our sleepies out, yawn, yawn, yawn our sleepies out, and wiggle our waggles away. We gotta shake, shake, shake our sailies out, shake, shake, shake our sailies out, shake, shake, shake our sailies out, wiggle our waggles away. Hey! Great job, guys! Now that our sillies are all shaken out, I can tell you about today's early literacy tip. It's more for the parents because the kids don't care. Okay, today's early literacy tip is about print awareness. So print awareness is noticing print in the world around you, being able to look at a sign and say, that's printed word and understanding how to follow words on a page. In English, we go left to right and down the page. It's understanding that print has meaning, and so, so it's not just a bunch of little squiggles. They actually mean something. So you can help uh, develop print awareness by occasionally running your finger along the words when you're reading, and you can point out signs in the world around you. If you're going to the grocery store, you can point at the stop sign and say, there's a word. Or if you're walking into the store, you can say, look at the at the words on the on the cereal boxes and, and stuff like that. Um, you can let the children turn pages so they understand that pages go left to right and and so on. So that's our early literacy tip. Okay, it's time for our first story. It's called Super Manny Cleans Up. This is Super Manny, he's a raccoon. And this is Super Gertie. She is a hedgehog. They're going to save the day. But how? We're going to find out. Let's get started. Every weekend, Manny and Gertie put on their capes and saved the planet from danger. Sounds pretty busy. Every weekend? They wrangled stampeding dinosaurs at the museum. Rah, rah, rah. At the library, they tamed ferocious lions. Rah. They battled snapping, snarling veggie monsters at the farmer's market. Rah. Are they really monsters or are they just pretending? I think sometimes they're just pretending they're fighting monsters. When an angry 12-foot Yeti showed up at their backyard fort, Manny and Gertie found a way to calm the beast. They say, calm down, Yeti. I am Super Manny, and I am Super Gertie. There wasn't a monster or a mobster in the universe that this dynamic duo couldn't defeat. Manny and Gertie often fought their toughest battles at the city park. Do you go to a park sometimes? Me too. There, they lassoed flying dragons, and they reached a peaceful agreement with the wicked squirrel queen and her army. They faced down a fleet of giant turtles from outer space. Wait, says Manny. Manny ran over to his crime-fighting partner. We don't have time to wait, Gertie shouted back. 
If we don't defeat them now, we'll be turtle food. Manny pointed to the pond. Seriously, he said, look. Look, there's trash everywhere in the pond and on the turtle. Gertie lifted her goggles. Oh no, she says, poor little guy. So they're not pretending anymore. Now there's really a problem. Manny and Gertie looked around. Hmm, what are they gonna see? And they noticed that trash was scattered all over the park. Litterbugs, Manny yelled. He could see swarms of them hiding everywhere, perched in the trees and hiding in the flower beds and darting across the playground. Litterbugs everywhere. Everyone walked right past the empty bottles and crumpled cups and plastic bags and the litter bugs they had they left just left behind trash. How could they not see the trash too? Why didn't anyone care? Gertie's cape snapped in the wind. She looked at the turtle again and she said the noblest, most important thing that she could have ever said. We have to do something! Manny nodded in agreement. We are mighty, he reminded her. And awesome, and tough, and smart, Gertie said. Manny and Gertie worked tirelessly the afternoon to clean up the park. Here they are picking up the turtle and picking up the trash and throwing it away. Soon, families and joggers and police officers and bike riders remembered that they too could be heroes and they pitched in to help. The whole community is helping save the day. By sunset, the litter bugs had been defeated and the park was clean. There was more work ahead to be sure, but this battle had been won. The turtles were very grateful. Look how clean their pond is compared to before. Manny and Gertie were grateful too. Because every superhero needs a planet worth saving. The end. Great job, guys. That was so cool. At first, they were just pretending to be superheroes. But then they saw a problem in their community. And they worked together to fix it. Great. So we can all be superheroes. Okay, guys, let's do a song. Can you follow with me? Let's sing together. I'll teach you the words. Okay, here it goes. One, two, three. Did you ever see a hero, a hero, a hero? Did you ever see a hero flying through the sky? Fly this way and that way and this way and that way. Did you ever see a hero flying through the sky? Did you ever see a hero, a hero, a hero? Did you ever see a hero putting on their cape? Fly this way and that way and this way and that way. Did you ever see a hero putting on their cape? Did you ever see a hero, a hero, a hero? Did you ever see a hero twirling around? Twirl this way and that way and this way way and that way did you ever see a hero twirling around did you ever see a hero a hero a hero did you ever see a hero flying through the sky fly this way and that way and this way and that way did you ever see a hero Flying through the sky. Good job! Okay, it's time for our second book. It's called Super Bat. This is a bat. That's a, a superhero bat? What? I've never seen a bat that's a superhero. 
we're going to learn about a superhero bat. Okay. It was the middle of the day. Do you see the bats? It was the middle of the day, and Pat the bat could not sleep. He was bored of hanging around in a dark cave. He wanted to be a special, he wanted to be special like the superheroes in his favorite comics. And then it hit him, pow! Pat had a great idea and he set to work. It was not easy using mom's sewing machine and his wings kept getting in the way. But after a couple of hours, his outfit was ready. Have you ever used a sewing machine before? They're a little complicated. Super Bat! This is his costume. He looks like a real superhero, right? When the other bats woke up, they were all surprised. I'm Super Bat, said Pat. Wow, said Gary. So what are your superpowers? I have super hearing, said Pat. So do we, said all of his bat friends. All bats have super hearing? Hmm, good point, muttered Pat the bat. All the other bats gathered around super bat. Can you lift a car with your mighty muscles? Uh, or shoot laser beams from your eyes? Hmm. Well, no, said Pat, but I can fly! We can all fly, said all of his bat friends. What else can you do? Hmm, all bats can fly. All bats can have super hearing. Hmm. Pat tried to think of another super skill. He felt like every bat in town was staring at him. Uh, I have echolocation. Can you say echolocation? It means that I can find my way in the dark. That sounds really cool. Surely that's a superpower. Ha <laughs> ha, the bats all laughed. That's nothing special. All bats can do that. Wow, all bats have all three of those superpowers? Pat trudged off home. I'm just a normal bat in a silly outfit. He felt very sad. Just as Pat was about to rip off his suit and throw it away, his supersonic hearing picked up a faint cry. Help! Help! <gasps> Someone's in trouble. On the other side of town, a big bad cat had trapped a family of mice. <gasps> What's going to happen? Is he gonna save them? Pat's wings spread out, his ears perked up, and he bravely flew across the city as fast as his little wings could carry him. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Oh, uh, I think it's a bat in a funny costume. There he goes! Pat swooped down like a blur. The big bad cat took a swat, but the cat missed Super Bat. Pat dived back down again and flapped his wings really fast. Wham! And scared the mean cat away. The mice were free! You saved us! They cried. Thank you! But who are you, O oh caped crusader? Pat smiled modestly. Me? I'm no one special. Oh, yes, you are! cried his bat friends who had followed Pat across town and seen his heroic actions. And you do have a superpower, they said. It's courage. You truly are a super bat. So that is his superpower, his courage. Great job, everyone. The end. Great job. Okay. Let's get out our felt board. We have a poem with some some uh with some props to go with it. You see this guy? Hmm. Can you give him a name, this little boy? Any name you want. We'll name him Jerry. Okay. All right. This little boy is a superhero. 
but you would never know. He needs a few accessories. Let's help him get ready to go. What is missing? What should he wear? He's a superhero. Hmm, what is this? A mask! Let's put it right there. Okay. What is he missing? What should he wear? He needs a cape. Let's put it right there. Hmm, starting to look like a superhero, right? Hmm, what is he missing? What should he wear? Hmm, he needs a symbol. Let's put it right there. Oh, he fell down. There he is, okay. What is he missing? What should he wear? He needs some gadgets. So this is tool belt. Let's put it right there. Hmm. What is he missing? What should he wear? Look at his feet. His feet don't look ready. He needs some boots. Let's put them right there. <laughs> He's falling off again. Don't fall. Okay. What is he missing? What does he need? One more thing. He needs a vehicle built for speed. There we go. Great job. Now he's ready to go. Yay. Great job helping me put together the superhero, everyone. Okay. It's time for our goodbye song. Really quick before our goodbye song, I will tell you we have crafts ready for you to come and pick up at the Lawrenceburg Public Library. So you can come back to the youth services desk and you can get a cool take-home craft and make your very own superhero mask. And I'll uh, see you the same time, uh, same place next week with more virtual story time. It was great seeing you today. Are you ready for the goodbye song? One, two, three. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. I can't think really quiet, like a whisper. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Now sing really loud. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me, goodbye, see you next time, everyone, goodbye, see you next time.